Yo, what is going on YouTube? Hope everyone's having an amazing day today. And yeah, in today's video, we got an amazing video for you. All you want to do is make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you are new around here so you're always kept up to date with the channel. As well, follow my Twitter at YTVenomPlays. It'd be much appreciated. Also, shout out to this amazing person on screen right now. If you would like a shout out in a future video, all you have to simply to go ahead and do is comment hashtag VenomPlays. And I'll be sure to show you in a future video. Now let's go on to the video. Just before this video does go on the start, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the sponsor. So if you're looking for the best GTA 5 cash rank, money, anything like that there, account services wise, then make sure to check out Digizani. Digizani literally has the best mod accounts, services, all that there stuff for any console that you do want. As well, make sure to use code VENOMPLAYS on checkout for 5% off your order. If you guys want to win any of these cars in my garage, make sure to subscribe to the channel and then comment down your gamer tags. Since I play on Xbox, I'll be giving away these cars for Xbox players. Now with that out of the way, to begin with the two console car merge glitch, you are going to need to have a few things. First, you are going to need to have two console or have a friend help you out with this glitch. You are also going to need to have netcut to lag your connection on your console. I'll have the link to netcut down below. And the last two requirements you are going to need to have is a donor car that you want to transfer the mods from. And you are also going to need to have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. Now once you have all the requirements, you can do the two console car merge glitch. Now the first step is to take the donor car and put it into the back of your MOC. Now when you do this glitch, you are going to lose your donor car. So I recommend to duplicate your car before you do this glitch or give your car to your friend so that they can give it back to you afterwards. Now once you have your donor car in the back of the MOC, drive it out, then drive to the custom shop. Now before you drive into the custom shop, make sure to have your spawn location set to last location. Now when you get into the custom shop, go down to respray, select secondary color, then go to metallics, then apply the black metallic paint job. Next you're going to back out, scroll down to wheels, select tire, then select tire design. Now you're going to choose any tire design. Now once you've applied a different tire design, back out, go to tire smoke, now you're going to select the purple tire smoke. Now once you made these adjustments on the car, back out until you get the confirmation to leave the custom shop. Now once you're on the screen, you're going to go on netcut and then you're going to find the IP address of your console. Now if you don't know your IP address of your console, you can go into your console settings, then go into advanced settings and the console's IP address should be there. Now once you have found the IP address of your console, go into Netcut. Now on Netcut, you are going to select the controller icon. Now after you select the controller icon, you are going to select the lockpad icon. Now on Netcut, you will get this screen. If you play on Xbox, you are going to select the Xbox icon. And if you play on PlayStation, you are going to select the PlayStation icon. Now after you select the console icon that you play on, your console should now be lagging. Now with this new method to lag the connection to your console, if you play on Xbox, you don't have to wait 5 minutes before starting GTA. Now on console 2, you can start up GTA. Now on Xbox, if you get this alert screen when you try to play GTA, just accept it. Now when you accept the alert, instead of ticking you out the game on console 1, you will have the game running on console 1 and console 2 at the same time. Now on console 2, when you load up into story mode, start up an invite only session. Now when you spawn online, you are going to open up the phone, go into the internet, now you're going to buy the car that you want to merge. Now when you buy the car, you're going to put it in your MOC. Now after you bought the car, close out of the internet by pressing Y or triangle. Now you should get an orange saving circle. From here, you're going to go into story mode. Now after 5 seconds of loading into the clouds, you can quit your game on console 2. Now you're going to go back to Netcut and reconnect the connection to Console 1. Now since you still have the screen on Netcut, you are going to press Done, and this will reconnect the connection back to Console 1. Now on Console 1, you're going to press X or A to leave the custom shop. Now when you drive it out of the custom shop, you should get an orange saving circle. From here, you're going to go back into Story Mode. When you get into story mode, you're going to start up an invite-only session. Now when you spawn online, if the car is not on the street, open up the interaction menu, 
go down to services, MOC, and you're going to request your personal vehicle. Now, if done correctly, the donor car's upgrades will be merged onto your car. Now, if you do this glitch, your car will be scratched. If you guys are worried about your car being scratched, don't do this glitch. Also, this glitch is inconsistent, so some upgrades may not merge onto the car, so a bit of trial and error is needed to get all the upgrades merged onto your car. Now, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, why not drop a like? And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing for more awesome content like this. And as always, peace out. Peace.